I needed to build a new light because I converted a shelf in my print shop to a little grow station and uh, it's getting overcrowded under the T5 light bulb that we have in there and so it's time to build. The materials you need to build the uh, grow light are uh, 8 foot lamp cord and a dual socket light fixture, uh, a couple of chains to hang it with, and um, I used a vent from a uh, dryer that you can get at your local hardware. It was only about two dollars, a two foot section, and it's aluminum and really shiny and already curved in a great way for a grow light, and a couple of um, compact fluorescent light bulbs. These are 42 watt, uh, 6500 K for a cool light for uh, growth. Okay, first thing we gotta do is take your vent piping and measure at 12 inches since it's a two foot piece of pipe and mark it in the middle where we're going to drill a hole where the light goes through okay next you're going to need to measure what size hole you need to drill this one is a uh, three-eighths of an inch so we'll get a three-eighths inch drill bit which I already have set aside. And then um, drill our hole for where the light's going to go through. You can use an old phone book to put underneath the uh, vent to uh, have something to drill against. And this is an attorney on the back cover of this phone book, and hopefully, we'll hit his face. Here we go. We got him right in the eye. So we're a winner. Okay, next you need to feed the wires to the top vent and put your threaded area through the hole. Turn it over. Actually, another idea. I'm gonna put a washer on there so it has something to push against. Stable. turn the right way and then keep screwing it on okay got to turn the right way and then tighten it It's turned right. So, tighten that. And there you go. It's 
turn the right way. Cut your wires through and it's tight. And on to the next step. Okay, next we want to connect the electrical cord to the light socket wires. And I'm just going to use a couple of uh, wire nuts. You just uh, twist the wires together going clockwise and then you screw on your wire nut until it's tight and then do it for the other wire and put the other nut on until it's tight Just keep these wires together. I'm going to use some electrical tape. Make it more neat. For the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to drill a couple of holes so we can hang it with some wire and the uh, chains will connect to the wire so I'll measure oh about an inch in from each side. Mark it. On this side, about an inch in, and mark it. Okay, and then get our injury attorney phone book and drill a hole. Let's see, we'll try to get through his nose this time. Oh, right between the eyes. And this side, we'll try it for the nose. Bullseye. That's all we need for our attorney phone book. Okay, and now for the next step. And that way, we'll have something to hang it from. Okay, next step, time for our lights. These are 42 watt. Uh, 2800 lumens and uh, 6500 degree lights for growth and just screw them in. These are twice as strong as what they use for uh, the Aero Garden which are only 26 watts and um, 1450 lumens that they use in the Aero Garden. So it's quite a boost for uh, whatever you want to grow. I wouldn't go with anything less than uh, 42 watts because it's just too weak to grow anything. I'm amazed that Aero Garden even works, but it does. But this is even better. So uh, next step, it's time to test the larger lights and see how they do. Plug it in. Turn it on. And it looks like they work. And uh, my plants will be happy.